Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today I thought I'd share with you guys a money manifestation story that took place right after I graduated from college. Uh, so I'd like to share with you guys the imaginal act I performed and the series of events that took place that got me to the fulfillment of my money manifestation desire. Um, now, before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Shaheen Manjezi. On this channel, I talk about how to use the mind to live the life that you desire. So if that interests you at all, please subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of new videos that I make. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. This story takes place uh, right after I graduated from college. This was, uh, yeah, I graduated from college in May 2018. And I had graduated from San Diego State University with a uh, undergraduate degree in uh, business administration with a specialization in accounting. I think it was like three, like four months probably passed by, you know, from when I graduated college to working part time at my family's car dealership and just kind of taking some time off um, from school and studies after all that and just trying to really figure out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, but I knew I wanted to make money, right? I wanted to make some money. So I started looking up uh, money manifestation methods. I stumbled across a video on YouTube uh, of a technique where uh, you would do this uh, manifest, this meditation of counting cash in your mind's eye. Right. So you take, you know, whatever it may be, a denomination of cash, a hundred dollars, for example, you'd study that hundred dollars, feel it, touch it, smell it, um, study all the details of the hundred dollar bill. And then before you went to bed every night, you would count the hundred dollar bills out until you reach this specific amount of money that you wanted to manifest. Right. And after you'd reach that that number, that, that number that you wanted to manifest, you would give thanks, gratitude for it, and feel the relief of having that amount of money and um, all the things that you could do now that you had that money, right? So you'd kind of enter that mental state of having whatever amount of money that you wanted. I looked in the comment sections of the, this, you know, this video describing this method, and a lot of people just heaps and heaps of people just had this you know their success stories about how they had manifested the specific amount of money that they wanted either as you know money that came out of nowhere or as uh, an income from a job or a pay raise or something like that yeah, so everyone had these, their different stories and their different ways of manifesting the money so i decided let me try this out you know i have nothing to lose let's try it out and that's a beautiful thing about imagining things um is you have nothing to lose in imagining good things for yourself. You know, we are already tapped into every possible reality we desire. You know, we just need to place our awareness on those uh, on those realities so we can allow them to uh, emerge and emerge into our physical world, right? So truly your awareness is the most powerful animating force in this universe okay your consciousness your awareness where you direct it is so important okay and it's the one thing that you really need to be disciplined in using uh, putting your awareness on your desired realities so i do that exact meditation one night and i choose my amount of money and Somehow, some way, I got to the figure of $4,000. That's the amount of money I wanted to manifest. You know, I did all the calculations or whatever, and, you know, I wanted to pay off my student loans fairly quickly. Um, you know, I wanted to be able to afford paying my own rent if I decided to move out. Somehow, I got to $4,000. That was a comfortable amount of income that I believed I could make and uh, would be a good amount of income for me to be making as a 22-year-old who just graduated college. Before I even did this meditation, I studied a hundred dollar bill. I touched it, felt it, examined every detail on it, 
Um, I would even smell it too. Like I really just got to know this hundred dollar bill. And that, that was that. I studied the note and before I went to bed one night, actually I did this for three nights, but this is basically what I did. I just counted in my mind's eye as if I had $4,000 in my hand and I began counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, right? And I would do that until I reached $4,000. And after I would reach counting $4,000, I would give gratitude and thanks for having that amount of money. And then I would begin in my mind's eye, you know, pretending or imagining what I would do if I had the $4,000, you know. So that's basically what I did. Just kind of reach the state internally, counting the money, giving thanks, and then feeling the relief of having the $4,000 and coming in every month, giving thanks for it, and uh, knowing that everything that I wanted to do with the money, I could do it. Now, I did this for three nights, and on that same week, I know, I remember the day, it was a Friday, I received a text message from my old boss, my old boss that I used to do part-time bookkeeping for in the summers between uh, my school years. Uh, he just shoots me a text message he asks me hey how are you what have you been up to what do you you know what are you what are you doing nowadays and you know I tell him that I've graduated from college and that uh, I'm working part-time at my family's dealership and trying you know starting to look for jobs you know in my career path so so let me provide you guys a little bit of context um, so I had done bookkeeping for this guy and essentially what he did, he was in real estate development. So he would flip properties and rent out properties. <laughs> so, so, you know, I never really thought that I would get a full-time job from him and that never crossed my mind. Um, but it turns out, which he revealed to me in the text message, that he was um, starting a new company, uh, starting a new company he was going to be one of, one of the founding partners along with many other people. And they were starting a company, a startup company in the cannabis industry, selling cannabis products, CBD products, which is basically just a, a wide range of cannabis products, long story short. And this was not long after cannabis just became legalized as a recreational drug uh, in uh, California. Right, so now a lot of new businesses were popping up in the cannabis industry, and it turned out he was one of them. So he texts me again, you know, after a, after this whole kind of thing, he 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 tells me through text that he's just started, uh, become a founded founding partner of a new company, uh, in the cannabis industry, and that he's actually looking for a full time staff accountant to bring on the team. He basically just leaves it at that, and then tells me. Uh, and tells me that if I'm interested in the job position to come to their El Segundo office that they just got on the following Friday. So he basically asks me if I'm interested in the job and if I'm interested in coming into the office, I tell him yes. You know, I tell him yes, I'm interested in the job. So at this point, I already know <laughs> that this is kind of the manifestation, the mental reality emerging into the physical world right because i had been doing these meditations and throughout that whole week i really felt like i was in a state of relief you know of just knowing that i have the four thousand dollars already that's the best way i can describe it to you guys like if you're trying to manifest money you really need to move out of a state of feeling like you don't have money and move into the state of feeling of relief I the best way to say it is relief the relief of knowing you have the money right and you first have to do that in your imagination before that reality can emerge into the physical world. I had successfully did that. Um, I wasn't really thinking about a lack of money. I was thinking about all the money I did have. And uh, this first event took place, right, on that Friday and scheduling our next meeting of me going into the office. So basically Friday rolls around, I go in to the office uh, meet up with my old boss that I used to do bookkeeping with 
and he sits me down in a conference room and he basically goes over this entire startup company's operations, what they're planning on doing, what products they're planning to sell, um, and just basically everything that the company is going to be doing, how they're going to be operating, what's their mission statement, you know, everything. Then he goes into telling me about the job position uh, that they need to fill for a staff accountant. And it wasn't as if, it wasn't even like, it was so funny. It, it wasn't a job interview, you know? It was, I, th I came in thinking it was going to be a sort of job interview. And it wasn't. It was, it was really more, he was selling me the job. And he really wanted me to work. And I guess it was because, uh, you know, he had known me already. I had already done bookkeeping for him. He had trusted me. Um, so I guess when it came up between him and, and the other founding partners who I had yet to meet, um, he thought of me and, uh, you know, because he, he was telling me in the meeting that he's already recommended me uh, as the staff accountant to all the other partners. And all the other partners basically told him, if you think he's a good fit, bring him on the team. Just tell him, just get, make sure that he's uh, on board <laughs> with everything. So it was, it was just the strangest thing. I was sitting there and he was just kind of just selling me this job and he was telling me like how great of an opportunity it is, how, you know, accounting in the can cannabis industry is going to emerge as this new sort of uh, specialization for accounting because it's this really new, rapidly changing new laws, you know, it's just going to become a really new specialized form of accounting. And for me coming in as a 20, 22 year old, being able to learn this whole industry and how to account for it would be a huge opportunity for me. And he goes into the compensation for the job. And this is the part where I was just like, okay, this is definitely, I definitely manifested this. Um, he goes into the compensation and basically the job was a 50K annual starting salary. And he tells me that there's a lot of room to grow within the next few years. You know, this is just a starting salary, but it's a 50K annual salary and I'll be making about $4,200 per month. Uh, and that's again, before taxes. So, <laughs> you know, I'm sitting there $4,200 a month. I have been doing the meditations for $4,000 a month. I knew I had manifested this. It was clear. Uh, basically, he just says, let me know at the end of the day if you're interested in, in the job because we need to start moving fast. You know, we don't have an accounting system set up, so we need you to come in on Monday um, if you're interested in the job. So I basically uh, say, yeah, just let me, give me the day to think about it. And I already knew I'm pretty much going to take the job, but, uh, you know, I, I think about it throughout the day and it was a no-brainer for me. I took the job uh, and I started on Monday morning. <laughs> I got the job. That was basically it. That was, that was, that's basically the main story. Um, and it just, again, guys, it just happened so fast. I mean, it, this is again, one of my fastest manifestations, but I kind of want it. There was even more, there was cherry on top. There was a cherry on top of the uh, Sunday because this job was in the cannabis industry. Essentially, there's just an interesting thing about the cannabis industry. You know, the cannabis industry is legal here in California, but it's still considered uh, an illegal business under federal law at the time. You know, all the big banks, Bank of America, Chase, um, Wells Fargo, all of them did not want to do any business with cannabis industries, with the cannabis industry, with cannabis businesses. Essentially, what you had was a situation where all these businesses in the cannabis sector in California were doing business strictly in cash, in cash money. And all the employees were getting paid in cash, especially for these businesses that were in the startup phase. The reason I'm telling you this is at the end of the month when it came time for me to get my payment, <laughs> this is just the funniest part. At the end of the month when it comes for me to get my payment, <laughs> my boss comes in and drops a fat stack of 4,000, 40, uh, yeah, I believe it's $4,200 on my, on my desk <laughs> and says, there's your payment for the month. <laughs> and you know, I was just laughing because I had done this meditation where I was counting $4,000 of cash 
and now I find myself, you know, just a month, a month later, actually having four thousand dollars, forty two hundred dollars in my hand and counting it. Um, now, eventually, they got off that whole cash system, um, and and started giving out checks like a normal company should. But it was funny because the first, I think the first three months I was working there, I got paid in strictly cash, cash money. So I get this brick of cash at the end, at the end of every two week period, um, which I I thought was funny. Yeah, guys, that's, that's the story. And uh, if you're in a place in your life where you're having problems, you're, you're having money problems for whatever reason, my, my greatest advice to you is to get out of the mental state of focusing on not having money. Um, because that's going to keep, keep you in that perpetual state and your physical reality is going to just reflect that and mirror that. So what I did that I believed really made the physical world reflect what I was doing in my imagination was I was living in a state of relief of having the money. So if there's a specific amount of money, and I always I suggest that you become specific about your, your amounts of money that you want to manifest become specific about it um give thanks for it in your mind's eye you know appropriate it first in your mind so if there's an amount of money that you want to manifest appropriate it in some way in your mind and what i mean by appropriate it is claim it accept it in your mind and give thanks for it and that will look differently for every other person you know for me it felt natural to count the money, the $4,000, and to really feel the weight of it in my mind's eye, to feel as if I was holding it. That felt natural for me, and then I'd give thanks for it. You can also do, um, you know, any other sort of medita- me- meditation, money meditation. It could, it could be a scene where you are uh, holding a check for the amount of money that you want, and you see your name on it, you see, you know, a date, you see the memo, You see the amount and you can imagine yourself, you know, at an ATM depositing that check, right? And getting that deposit receipt and saying thank you for the money, you know, giving thanks for it, praising it, having relief for the money. So I just wanted to share you with you guys that story, just sort of as an inspiring story um, to show you guys that, yes, you can, in fact, manifest money. Um, but it first requires you appropriating the money, accepting the money in your mind's eye. And that comes from creating some sort of scene that implies that you have the money. So yeah, guys, that's all I really have. I'm going to make more videos about money because I'm not working that job anymore. You know, I've had a lot of deeper realizations about what I wanted to do with my life and how money plays into that. And, um, I'll make more videos about this topic uh, as as we go on on this channel, but if you are currently trying to manifest money, um, I recommend that you create a scene in your imagination that implies that you have the money. Um, give thanks for for the money once you have claimed it in your mind, you've accepted it, you've appropriated it in your mind. Be specific with the amount of money that you want as well, and. Um, yeah, get get to a place where you feel relief that you have the money. That's that's the number one word that I can use for manifesting anything is you want to reach a state that you have relief, that you have what you want, okay? And if you can reach that state, you will begin to see that reality emerge in your physical world. So if you like this video, um, or if you have any questions or uh, topics you want me to cover, or even success stories, please leave them in the comment, success, uh, comment section and uh, they could serve to inspire other people. So that's all I really have for you guys today. Um, until next time, imagine wisely. Bye.